Welcome to the Features video of Custom Fields for WooCommerce. Custom Fields extension is a one-stop solution to collect additional information from your customers. With this extension, you can simultaneously add custom fields to your registration form and checkout page. Make custom fields dependable and display them almost anywhere on your registration and checkout page. You can also add user roles dropdown on registration to add role dependent fields and manually validate new user registrations. Let's go to the back end and see how this extension works. Go to WooCommerce and click on Custom Fields and open the Rules tab to create new custom fields. Click on Add New Field. Add a field title here that will be used as a field label on the front end. Select from 19 field types. Let's add a dropdown to ask customers how did they find us. Add dropdown options here. Let's add Facebook, Google, and others as examples here. You can add a price here to charge an additional fee if a customer selects this option. If you have added a price, you can mark the price as fixed or percentage of the order amount. We will leave it empty since we won't charge any fee here. Make field required or keep it optional. Select this box to make field uneditable once filled. Select this box to show field in admin order detail page and order email. Display field in full or half width. Enter field placeholder here and add field description. You can also add field custom CSS class. In field dependency section, you can select user rules to whom you want to show this field. We will leave it empty for show in all users. Select if you want to make dependable to an existing field. Select if you want to show this field in Registration Form My Account Page Checkout Page Choose from over 15 positions to display fields anywhere on your checkout page. Select products, categories, or tags if you want to display a field on checkout only when any of the selected products are in the cart. We will leave it empty to enable it for all products. Add field order to custom sort fields. Click on the publish button to create a field. You can add multiple fields as per your business needs. Let's go to the front end. You can see the custom fields are displayed by extending your default registration form. Let's go to the checkout page and see the custom fields added there. The registration and checkout fields data is displayed on My Account page as well as the order detail in the admin panel. Now let's go to the back end and see other settings of this extension. Go to General Settings now. Here you can add the title of Additional Fields section, which will be displayed above custom fields added on registration form. If you are using the reCAPTCHA field, you can add reCAPTCHA keys here. Now go to User Role Settings. Here you can enable user role selection to display a user roles dropdown on the registration page. Custom dropdown label and select user roles you want to display in dropdown. Now go to Approve New User option. Check this option if you want to manually validate new user registrations. Select this checkbox if you want to enable manual validation if the account is created during checkout. Exclude specific user roles from manual validation. Here you can customize messages displayed on the front end to keep users informed about the validation process. Let's go to Email Settings now. Here you can customize validation emails sent to admins and customers. Customize the email body using the available variables. Let's go to Checkout option now. Here you can customize default billing and shipping fields labels. Go to the Billing Field tab. 
Here you can show or hide default billing fields based on user roles. Just like the billing fields, you can also manage the visibility of your default shipping fields based on user roles. Now let's go to the last default field tab. Here you can enable default billing fields to display them on the registration form. You can enable specific billing fields and customize their labels as well. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.